Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I have the new Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation. And I also picked up their new mascara, concealer, and some other stuff. So I got the shade Desert Beige. And this is how the packaging looks like. So this claims basically is they tried this foundation in seven types of lighting so it won't give you that flashback um, whenever you take pictures so when you open the package it it has a little um, like a spatula I really hope I got the the, new, the right shade so for half my face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal uh, Beauty Sponge. And for the other side of my face, I'm going to be using a brush. Um, I do know that it is kind of liquidy. And whenever I use liquid, I like to use the e.l.f. Stippling Brush. I use this one with the L'Oreal um, Pro Glow. Anything that's really watery, any type of foundation that's watery, I use this one. First, so the primer I'm going to be using, since I'm using everything wet and wild, I'll be using the wet and wild um primer i really do like this primer so as you can tell i have some pimples so we're gonna see if this is a full coverage foundation so we're gonna start with half our face I really like this little spatula thing. So we're going to do it with our beauty blender first. So as you can tell, it didn't really cover it, but it did cover all my redness I have right here. And I do think it, it um, dries super fast so let's go ahead and do my other side I'm gonna try it with the stippling brush to see how it looks So you definitely get more coverage with a brush. So I really do like the foundation. The only thing it does, um, it has a really strong scent of uh, paint. But other than that, it's it's good. It's not a full coverage, but, but you can uh, go ahead and build it up to your preference. So now we're going to try the concealer. This one is in the shade Light Medium Beige. This is how the concealer looks. Hopefully I got the right shade. So let's go ahead and put it under our eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the beauty blender. I am in love with this concealer like it covered my bags my under circles really good uh, I didn't see a setting powder so I'm just gonna go ahead and set with my regular Laura Mercier translucent powder I also forgot to tell you that that uh, foundation it is matte which is a good thing for for us oily girls um but look at how the foundation i mean look how the concealer looks it looks really good and what i'm noticing is that it's not creasing under my eyes super fast so this is how the mascara looks it kind of reminds me like of batman for some reason so let's go ahead and try it in our i already have my top lashes so i'm gonna do it under my eyes 
but this is how the wand looks with that little ball in the front I'm just gonna put one coat on the top so let's go see So I picked up this blush. It's called the Princess Day Day Choir Quires. It's in the shade. It's uh, number three sixteen B. This is how it looks. They had this one and they had like a purple one, but I really didn't like that one. This is how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch for you. Right there, kind of looks like a highlighter for some reason. You can't really even see it. But, let's go ahead and try it. They're super powdery. Like, watch. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I don't know if you can see this one though. So I picked up two highlighters and I am really excited to try this one. This is one of them. This is shade Crown of My Canopy in 322B. And I also picked up this one, the Mega Cushion Highlighter Illuminator. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the bottom and then this one, uh, on top so when you open the cushion one it has this little thing and then you pick this up whoa and it's this is how it looks let's go ahead and so this is how the other one looks oh, it looks amazing it looks beautiful look at that right there Can you guys see it let's go ahead and add the cushion one I'm gonna do it with the tip of my beauty blender because I'm not a fan of the other one <coughs> maybe I shouldn't have put in it with my beauty blender <laughs> where is that little I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with this little thing, even though I don't like it. But I just put way too much. Now I'm going to try the other one. Are you guys seeing that? So that is the final look with the with the new wet and wild stuff i am really impressed with the highlighters like can you guys see that um this concealer is awesome like it has not even creased on me whatsoever the foundation is really good only thing i don't like is the smell and i think everything from from this uh, stuff has a smell it all has like a, a strong scent even the the what's it called the mascara except the powders obviously so this is what i think about the products um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe and leave me a comment Bye, guys.